Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to ABV Effects, and today I'm gonna show you how to create the flash effect in HitFlame Pro. Now, for creating this effect, we're gonna create a new composition. The resolution will be 1920 to 1080, and select the start composition. Now, double click on it to your media panel and import your footage and drag it to your composition. Now, we're gonna resize our footage. Now we're gonna split the footage that part we needed. Now we're gonna delete that part that we don't need. Now we're gonna adjust the rest footage. Okay guys, now what we're gonna do that, we're gonna select the middle footage and duplicate it. And now what we're gonna do that, we go to our first keyframe of the footage and split it and then go to the end of the footage and split it. Now the rest of footage we gonna delete it and select the stretch tool and stretch to the 6 keyframes. Now we go to our composition setting and set the time duration will be 10 seconds. Now we're gonna select our first footage and we're gonna mask it. Then we go to our effects panel and select the angular blur and drag it to our first footage. Now we're gonna set the blur angle to 90 degree and set the length whatever you need. And go to transform and set the position and the scale and animate it. And the same process we're gonna do in the second footage. Okay guys, now the time for the lightning. So what we're gonna do that, we go to our media folder and then we're gonna import our lightning strikes and then we drag it to our compositions and adjust key frame by frame. And then we're gonna select the old footage and then we go to uh, create a new composition. Then we're gonna blend our composition to add. And the same process we're gonna do in the end.
Okay guys, now you can see that our lightning is perfectly applied in our footage. Okay guys, now what we're gonna do that, we're gonna create a new composition. The name is final and the resolution will be 1920 to 800 for the anamorphic ratio. Now we're gonna drag our first composition shot in our final. And now we're gonna adjust it a little bit. Now we are going to create a new grid layer and apply the curve effect on it. Now adjust the curve to make it warmer and then we are going to create a new grid layer and then we go to our presets and select the warmer presets and then we are going to adjust the curves again. Now for the psych effect what we are going to do that we are going to select the part where we entered and exit and split it and then we are going to import our shake effect in it so what we are going to do that we go to our effects panel and type shake and drag it to our entry and exit point and little bit adjustment of the shake amount and the speed of the shake and then we are going to render it Ok guys now you can see that our flash effect that we applied in our footage is perfectly worked. So thank you guys for watching this video if you like this video please hit the like button down below and if you want to watch my more videos please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon.